Masaya mag-aral ng Sensa with Sir Audrey Miranda. Which brand of tissue paper is the most absorbent? What will you do to find out the best evidence-based answer to this question? List down two or more ideas on your notebook. There are different ways to answer this question. Maybe some will go online and research for the answer. Or perhaps, others will conduct an experiment to try and see it for themselves. Of these two approaches, which one will you most likely do? Of course, you have your own choice. But, the best way to answer this is by conducting a simple investigation. For this video, you are going to identify and describe the basic process skills in a scientific investigation. The science process skills form the foundation for scientific method. These basic skills are integrated together when scientists design and carry out experiments, or in everyday life when we all carry out fair test experiments. All the six basic skills are important individually, as well as when they are integrated together. The six basic process skills include observing, classifying, predicting, inferring, measuring, and communicating. Let me describe each skill to you starting with observing. Observing this is the most basic skill in science. Observations are made using the five senses. Good observations are essential in learning the other science process skills. Example, the learner will be blindfolded and make observations using the sense of feeling. Classifying. After making observations, it is important to notice similarities, differences, and group objects according to purpose. It is important to create order to help comprehend the number of objects, events, and living things in the world. Example, the learner will group them according to criteria. The ones that are hard will be in one group. The remaining objects that are soft will be all together in another group. Predicting. What do you think will happen? It is an educated guess based on good observations and inferences about an observed event or prior knowledge. Example, the learner can ask herself and give a good guess on what will happen if she leaves an ice cube under the heat of the sun for a few hours. Inferring when you infer, you make an explanation based on an observation. It is a link between what is observed and what is already known. 
it is using observation to make a guess or assumption about a situation or person. This may or may not be true. Example, based on my observations, I think that this can is old and is leaking a toxic substance. Measuring Measuring is important in collecting, comparing, and interpreting data. It helps us classify further and communicate with others. The metric system should be used to help us understand the scientific world. Example, the objects can be measured using the different tools for measuring with metric system, such as inches, millimeter, centimeter, meter, and etc. Communicating. When you are communicating, you are sharing your experiences or the result of your experiment. This can be done with graphs, diagrams, maps, and spoken words. Example, the learner shares the outcome of her experiment. She uses graphs, diagram, and maps to explain the result of her research visually and clearly. Now, we are done reviewing the science process skills.